Okay, let's talk about everyone's favorite time of the year. And of course, that is back to school. And a lot of you out there are kind of laughing. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Uh, some of you are saying, no, I want to stay on summer break. And uh, the teachers out there that might be watching this video are saying, I can use a little bit more of a summer break as well. And I get that. But uh, some of your parents may be like, oh, no, I'm definitely getting ready to send my child back to school. And uh, of course, you know, you're probably trying to get ready early and thinking about um, supplies that your child might need. Need, uh, And what we're going to be talking about in this video is math supplies that your child will definitely need. And I want to be talking about this in terms of uh, elementary school, middle school, and high school level mathematics. Um, so stick around for a couple minutes. You'll get a basic sense of uh, some of the things that you're definitely going to want to have for your math class. And it's important that um, what I'm going to try to do in this video, what's important is that you don't um, buy the wrong things or buy too many materials that you really don't need. Okay. So anyways, this is going to be some general guidance and hopefully will help you out as you prepare to get your children back to school or yourself back to school. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But as you get back to school, if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, and you're struggling with mathematics, I can definitely help you out. I've been teaching math for decades and um, you know, I get that, you know, you may not get all the instruction you need uh, while you're at school. OK, so if you need extra help, keep my program in mind. If you happen to be preparing for a test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, maybe a teacher certification exam. I can definitely help you prepare and pass those exams if you are homeschooling. I was just uh, recently, my math courses were recently voted number one for middle school and high school math by a major homeschool publication. Uh, I'm very excited about that. And if you need some math notes just to study from, I'm going to leave um, links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get to it. This will be a short video. I just want to give you some general guidance on things. So let's start off with the elementary level. Okay, so uh, what things will you need at the elementary level in terms of... Um, your math class, well, here you want to wait. Okay, now you're saying, well, I thought you were going to give me a list of supplies. Well, elementary level, I'm going to tell you to uh, wait. I'm not going to tell you what to get because you want to wait until you get like a letter from the school, okay, uh, or the teacher specifically saying get XYZ supplies. So you should get some sort of letter or maybe check your school's website, okay. But you should have some uh, um, some guidance, generally speaking, in elementary school uh, before school starts that says get the specific list of supplies. That's pretty common. So every teacher is going to be different and, uh, you know, every level will be different in terms of what uh, your teacher wants because there's a lot of project based stuff in elementary school. So uh, just wait to get that guidance and, uh, you know, have uh, the teacher, your child's going to be teaching that your the teacher, excuse me, that your child's going to be learning from will want things done in kind of their own specific kind of way. So just kind of wait until you get that information to buy supplies. That's my best recommendation for you. All right, so let's talk about middle school. Middle school, I'm really referring to sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. Now, remember, at the eighth grade level, uh, you could be taking like a pre-algebra course. So the middle school, this is where you kind of become more independent in terms of a student, all right? So uh, oftentimes, you will not get a letter or some information in advance to get uh, X, Y, uh, Z supplies. So let's just talk about some obvious basic things that you're going to need for math class at the sixth grade, seventh grade, or eighth grade level. So the first thing is obviously a notebook, okay? You will need something to take notes in. Now, I'm going to uh, suggest that you just buy one of those basic three-ring binder notebooks, maybe a dedicated notebook that can maybe contain half of the year's material, not something so skinny where you have to buy uh, a lot of notebooks to take notes. Give yourself you know, a couple hundred pages worth of notes um, you know, uh, available to take in this dedicated notebook. So that's the way I like to do it. I'm going to uh, suggest you do it this way. Now, some of you might want to have a notebook with three ring uh, paper in it. That's good too, but I've seen too many of those type of notebooks when you're inserting paper, the paper gets lost, um, uh, and it's just another level of organization. So I think like a dedicated notebook is a good uh, place for you. And you just put right there, math, you know, write that, boom, that's going to be for math. And unless your teacher has um, 
you know, some other way you, uh, for them wanting you to take your notes. Just start off with something nice and empty, boom, okay? And in your notebook as well, um, you know, sometimes they have like a little uh, folder in there that you can kind of contain all the quizzes and tests that you're going to get back. That's probably going to fill up pretty quick, so you might want to think about like another kind of envelope uh, to keep this information. So you're going to be getting a lot of stuff back from your teacher, not only in math, but other courses as well. So anyways, the first most obvious thing that you want to be getting is a dedicated notebook. Now, along with that, uh, you're going to need some pens and pencils. Okay, pretty obvious there. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, do not use pen as your, your main uh, writing uh, instrument. You're like, okay, I'm going to go to math class. I'm going to use pen. No, 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 no. You want to use pencil. Okay. You're going to be doing a lot of erasing. Don't do, um, don't use pen. Even if it's a erasable pen, I'm going to strongly suggest you stay away from pens when it comes to mathematics. So get pencils. And, um, if you want to get some mechanical pencils, that's fine. Or just regular old number two pencils, but just make sure you got a good amount of pencils. And that means you need uh, good erasers and a pencil sharpener. So have all these things, you know, available to you, but you're definitely going to want to have uh, pencils um, yeah, as your primary tool, not only for middle school, but high school and college level uh, as well. So, you know, notebook and pencils, it seems pretty obvious there, but I'm going to tell you right now, that the, your pencil and your notebook are going to be like 80, 90 percent of how well you're going to learn math. OK, and I'm talking about your ability to take notes. All right. So you're going to be using your pencils. Find something, find a pencil that you're comfortable with, that you like. Um, I know all of us have, you know, little quirks about us in terms of, hey, I like this pencil or that pencil. Just be consistent and find something that you're really comfortable with. And um, along those lines, uh, you're in your notebook. Remember, you want to be focused on being really neat. Okay, so again, get good writing instruments and a good notebook that's going to encourage that. All right, let's talk about the, the next thing here, and that would be a calculator. Okay, so at the middle school level, uh, you're definitely just going to need a scientific calculator. Uh, now, sometimes your teacher will give you a specific uh, suggestion. You can kind of hold off and wait, uh, but any basic like Texas Instrument type of uh, calculator, I want to say it's a 33X, it's a 30-something X. It's definitely not, it, you don't need a TI-83 or a TI-84. These are graphing calculators. I'll talk about those here in a second. So don't go out and spend, a, you know, 150 bucks on a graphing calculator at the middle school level. You don't need that, okay? All, unfortunately, what's going to end up happening is it will probably uh, uh, get stolen, okay? that's I've seen that happen from time to time. Students lose calculators. People take things, especially at the high school level. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. But you are going to need a scientific uh, calculator. So if you, you can kind of hold off and wait. If you have one around or if you see a good sale on one, um, you know, pick yourself up a nice scientific calculator. I like the solar calculators because, uh, you know, uh, you don't really need a battery there. Of course, you have to make sure it's fully charged. But you can pick these things up at, you know, Walmart, CVS, pretty, uh, pretty cheap. Okay. All right. So. You need a calculator, you need pencils, you need notebooks. Now, what are some other things that you um, are going to need? Now, uh, in middle school, there's going to probably come a time where you're going to need some graph paper. Okay, so graph paper. So if you see a good deal on graph paper, just buy, um, you know, like one, um, you know, one uh, stack of graph paper. That's enough. You're not going to use it all the time, but you will probably encounter projects and things where you will be using graph paper. Don't feel compelled that you have to use graph paper as like your primary notebook because that will get uh, pretty expensive. And uh, so no need to do that. But you definitely want to have um, access to some graphing paper. OK, now along with that, you're certainly going to need a ruler. OK, uh, that would be very good. So just a regular one foot standard ruler would be good with uh, inches and uh, metric system and standard system on one side. And along with the ruler, some other things that you, uh, are going to help you out. It's things like a protractor, okay, protractor, ruler, and maybe even a compass as well. If you don't know what a compass is, it's how you draw little circles. It's a little like instrument like this, okay, and there's a little pencil like that, a little sharp thing, and then you swing that thing around and you draw your nice little circle, okay. So there's some basic supplies that you're going to want. Remember, uh, at the middle school level, um, uh, you know, sixth grade, seventh grade math, you're going to be doing a lot of 
uh, calculations and and kind of you're going to be slowly creeping into um, algebra. Okay, so you're not going to be doing um, a lot of projects, probably some projects, you know, with your graph paper and some other type of problems as well. But probably the most you know, you supply here is going to be your notebook and uh, your pencil. Okay, so think in terms of organization. Definitely going to want to have a calculator on you at all times. Um, no need to bring your graphing paper to class. Just have some at home and a nice ruler, protractor, and compass. Everyone should have uh, those materials. Now, in terms of, you know, how are you going to walk around? Well, then, you know, that's a personal thing in terms of a backpack and all that kind of good stuff. I'll let you figure that out. We're just talking about math uh, class. So this would cover you pretty nicely um, in middle school uh, in terms of uh, these supplies right here. So let's get into high school and even a little bit of college. So it's pretty much the same. You're going to need a notebook. Okay, so notebook, same uh, guidance uh, there um, in terms of what I told you about the middle school. Uh, pencils, yep, same thing as well. And same thing with pens. You don't want to be using pen as your primary writing instruments. So what I told you in middle school translates uh, to high school. Now, uh, in terms of calculators, this is where there'll be some difference. All right, so if you're like at the algebra one level, a scientific calculator will be fine. Even in geometry, a scientific calculator will be fine. Now, a scientific calculator has all your basic trigonometric functions, all your basic operations and stuff. But when you get to the algebra two level, uh, you're going to need to be thinking about a graphing uh, calculator. And this is a step up in cost, uh, but you're gonna need one so you're going to be thinking about the TI. Uh, T, there's a lot of different graphing calculators out there. One of the most probably um, basic, or well, it's not basic at all. It's actually pretty advanced. But probably one of the most popular for many, many, many years is the, the TI-83. Um, I have several TI-83s. I have TI-84s, whatnot. This is more than adequate. Okay, And this is going to cost you a good $100 or so. But um, if you're looking to save some money, you could probably find a used TI-83 on eBay, Amazon, shop around and whatnot. You could probably find good deals on this. As this calculator has been around for a good, probably now, maybe 20 years, 15, definitely 15, more like maybe even 20 years. So um, they all work the same um, as long as you have a, you know, the ability to uh, graph functions and things like that. That's all you need. And this gets you through all the way into uh, pre-calculus and even into calculus as well. Okay. Now, if you're taking some sort of uh, special class like uh, statistics in high school, you may be required to get a special type of graphing calculator like a TI-84, etc. So if you're not quite sure, hold off uh, and wait. But, you know, if you're shopping around and if you're thinking about it, you know, you need at least something like a TI-83 if you're in anything in Algebra 2 and beyond. Okay, so if you're not sure, wait and uh, talk to your teacher. But um, anyways, again, your scientific calculator that you, buy, you bought in middle school will serve you pretty well in uh, high school as well, at least your first couple years of high school in Algebra and Geometry. Now, in terms of these, uh, like a ruler, protractor, compass, graphing paper. Yeah, this is all stuff that you're going to need, uh, you know, from time to time in high school as well. Okay. And there's some other things that you might, little specialty things that you might need to get from time to time, but that's just going to be pretty much, you know, your standard uh, supplies and learning mathematics and even into college. Okay. We're really talking about pencil and a notebook. You're going to be taking a lot of notes, you know, using your calculator, whether that be a TI-84 or a TI-83. If you um, have any, um, if you have the ability to choose between a TI-83 or, T80, or TI-84, I would err if your budget allows on the more advanced graphing calculator because you can take that uh, same calculator and use it in college, okay, so like engineering mathematics. So, you know, take a look at your budget, take a look at your, um, where you think you might be going after high school, if you're going to go into some sort of engineering program, maybe do some additional research so you don't have to buy two different calculators and whatnot. But um, anyways, let's go, uh, go ahead and call this video a wrap. So again, elementary school, be looking for those letters, check websites, wait for that specific uh, list that comes out. Middle school, find yourself an excellent notebook and pencils and a nice scientific calculator and then get these uh, things, a graph paper and the rulers, projector compass. Have that when you buy this, keep this, okay, because you're going to need it in high school as well. The only thing in high school, again, that's going to come up is uh, getting a graphing calculator, which you will need.
for sure in an Algebra 2 or pre-calculus course. So again, back to school, okay, super exciting time of the year. And uh, one thing that you could be thinking about as well, um, I'm posting this video in early August. If you don't start school in September and if you really um, – want to get into, uh, you know, get a, ahead of the game, if you will, in terms of math supplies. I didn't put this on a list, but it's something you might want to think about. It's something like my math help program, okay? So that would be a supplemental resource. So if you run into problems, okay, in your algebra course, pre-calculus course, that you have something that you can refer to. So even that's not an official supply, I would strongly, you know, uh, encourage you to maybe check out my math help program as a, as a backup plan if you need additional help. Plus, if you really want to get ahead, you could start learning. Let's say, for example, you're going to be taking geometry um, here in a month. You could actually, you know, start learning some of the geometry right now that you're going to be uh, facing. OK, if you get ahead, that will help you build momentum. And in high school, when your grades count, your GPA counts for uh, college and the like, that's uh, important as well. So hopefully this video gave you some good, good information. If that is the case, consider smashing that like button. Uh, that definitely will help me out. And you might want to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I've uh, been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over 1,000 plus math videos, basic math to advanced math. So as you get back to school, please check out my YouTube channel. Okay, I have a ton of stuff there that can help you through your uh, various chapters and sections as you study. But my best math help will always be with my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best when you get back to school. Thank you for your time and have a great day.